Call Sam forecast first with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, our visible satellite imagery shows that clouds have been at least ongoing through northern parts of the Arklamis here. We're seeing clearing across southern areas. Folks, especially south of I-20, should be seeing a lot more sunshine after a fairly cloudy day today. And clouds will continue to clear somewhat into this evening until eventually they come back from the south and west. And that'll kind of give us a mix in cloud and sun as we head into our Monday. Very nice, though, with temperatures in the lower 60s. That's your forecast first. NBC 10 News at 5 starts right now. Your local news leader celebrating 65 years of keeping you informed. Home of the live storm tracker Doppler and voted by you as the best newscast in the Arklamis. This is NBC 10 News at 5. A live look now at the stadium for the big game tonight, where in just 30 minutes, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will go head-to-head -head against the Kansas City Chiefs. Hello and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Hunter Elise. We're starting off tonight going straight to NBC10's Maya Hudgens and CJ Macklin, where they join us live at walk-ons as fans get ready to watch the big game. Hey, what's going on, Hunter? One of the biggest days in sports history today, the Super Bowl. A lot of people here at Walk-Ons will live from Walk-Ons, the Super Bowl. Saints fans, I know you guys are upset right now, but there is a bright spot to this. A lot of LSU plant fans, well, if not fans, LSU players, playing on both sides of the coin for the Chiefs and for the Bucks. Tyrant Matthew, Darren Williams, uh, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, a lot of people, more and more, even the Louisiana Tech Bulldog, the Jerry Steed in his first year. But Maya Hudgens sat down with a lot of Saints fans before the Super Bowl. That's right, CJ. Now, Saints fans are not happy about what happened in that playoff game no. with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The last time the Saints went to a Super Bowl was in 2010. 2010. But uh, Saints fans thought this year was the year for them, and sadly, it was not. Obviously, it's, it's disappointing that the Saints are not playing in the Super Bowl. They've got 49 wins in four seasons. That's the best in the, in the National Football League. And at the end of the day, you've got four division titles, which is great, but the ultimate goal was to be here today. The 2021 Super Bowl is a sad day for New Orleans Saint fans across the state. After having high hopes of going to the Super Bowl, it was taken away in the fourth quarter of the playoff game with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I really believe that we could have gone. So we beat ourselves. We have nobody to blame but ourselves. Tampa Bay went on and won the NFC Championship and is now playing in the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs. I think the thing that makes it worse is it's not just losing. It's the finality of it's probably Drew Brees' last game and the fact that he goes out with a loss when it was Super Bowl of us and they didn't get to fulfill that. I thought this was going to be like this great moment. We're going to get to redeem ourselves after the no-call game. and. It didn't pan out for us, so we were pretty disgusted. We left that night and drove home. While many Saint fans didn't watch the Super Bowl when they lost to the Rams in 2019, this year might be a different story. Football lovers believe this could be one of the best Super Bowls we've seen. You got Tom Brady, who is the greatest of all time. I think you got Patrick Mahomes. Well, I feel like by the time it's all said and done, he's going to be in that conversation. Um, I think it's going to be a great Super Bowl. While others are still a little upset about this year's Super Bowl teams. Could have, should have, would have, but that's just part of it. So, you know, it, it's not fun, but I'm definitely not going to root for Tampa Bay this year. Okay. Now, Hunter, CJ, go ahead and tell me who you think is going to win the 2021 Super Bowl. I'm betting on the Chiefs this year since Tampa Bay beat out the Saints last year. Uh, it's been a tough decision for me all week, but I think I'm going to go... With the GOAT, Tom Brady in the books. Uh, I think he's going to get number seven ring tonight. It's going to be a good one. Um, Maya, CJ, I'm going to have to go with CJ on this one tonight. Bucks all the way and maybe the weekend because that halftime show they're performing in should be pretty exciting too. It should, and it's going to be PG, he says, so it's going to be a good one. I guess we'll find out in a couple of hours. I have more in the sports block about this big Super Bowl matchup. But for now, live in West Monroe, I'm CJ Macklin. And I'm Maya Hudgens. Hunter, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, guys. And the game may be tonight in Tampa Bay, but the NFL is already planning out next year's big game. They announced that the 2022 game will be held in Los Angeles. And guess what? It'll be airing right here on NBC. 
Monroe City Council is working to keep residents safer and more involved in helping report crime in districts four and five. The new neighborhood watch program works alongside the Monroe Police Department to reduce the high crime rates in these districts. It allows residents to say something if they see something happening in their community. Currently, there are almost 20 captains in the neighborhoods, but for the program to work, they need residents to participate. We have a very high crime rate in Districts 4 and Districts 5, and we want to just make sure that the citizens aren't afraid to say what they have to say when they see something. And that's what we've been talking about. When you see something, say something. It's not just an asset for uh, the neighbors uh, in the communities. It's also an asset to the businesses as well. To report a crime, you can download the app called P3 Tips. This allows you to submit tips and remain anonymous. This morning, Senator Bill Cassidy went on NBC's Meet the Press for an interview where he says he is prepared to work with Democrats on coronavirus relief and doesn't know how he will vote in the impeachment trial. I am absolutely willing to work with anyone if it's good for the American people because that's what we should all be about. We have conservative solutions. The more conservative values infuse public policy, I think the better public policy is. On the other hand, the administration is showing very clearly they don't care if they have to work with us. George Shultz, President Ronald Reagan's longtime Secretary of State, has died at 100 years old. Shultz died Saturday at his home on the campus of Stanford University, according to the Hoover Institution, a think tank where he was a distinguished fellow. He spent most of the 1980s trying to improve relations with the Soviet Union and forging a course for peace in the Middle East. He held three major cabinet posts in Republican administrations during a long career of public service. President Joe Biden is pushing for Congress to pass his coronavirus relief package and hopes lawmakers can have it on his desk before mid-March. Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer has an update on the progress from Capitol Hill. Michelle. This weekend, the White House launched a new effort to share the stories of Americans impacted by the pandemic. It's just been a tough time as far as trying to find work. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said Sunday on CBS Face the Nation that President Biden's $1.9 trillion American rescue package will help get women in particular back to work. They faced a disproportionate burden because of this crisis, especially low-wage women and women of color. Democrats on Capitol Hill are already putting the wheels in motion to pass the package, and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi hopes to send it to the Senate in the next two weeks. And we have got to pass that legislation as soon as we possibly can. Vermont Independent Senator Bernie Sanders said on CNN State of the Union that the Senate must pass the package before extended unemployment benefits expire in mid-March. He's also pushing an increase to the minimum wage. Because at the end of the day, we are in the midst of massive income and wealth inequality. President Biden is already having trouble gaining Republican support. Louisiana Republican Senator Bill Cassidy said on NBC's Meet the Press Sunday that the package is just too large. I'm a doctor. I can tell you sometimes a cure is worse than a disease. It may be that this 1.9 trillion will make things worse, and I think that has to be a concern. If necessary, Democrats are preparing to pass the package without GOP support. Reporting in Washington, I'm Kelly Meyer. Coming up on NBC10 News at 5, an El Dorado student is using his time doing school online to not only learn but build his own computer. We'll tell you that coming up, but first, here's Brian. And as we head into the new week, at least, looks like we're going to be going on a weather roller coaster ride. We'll have all the details that you see on your screen coming up when NBC10 News at 6 continues. Reserve your St. Jude Dream Home giveaway ticket by February 26th, then you'll be eligible to win the house and the early bird prize. An Exmark Zero Turn Lawnmower and the Echo Prize Pack, courtesy of 3B Outdoor Equipment. Call the number on your screen or visit dreamhome.org to reserve your ticket for only $100 and help St. Jude Children's Research Hospital continue its life saving work. Then watch Fox 14 on April 18th to see who wins the house and the other prizes. You could win a house, you will make a difference in the lives of children with cancer. Just like an earache or fever, mental health conditions are also illnesses that should be evaluated and treated. If your child's behavior becomes troubling and they just don't seem like themselves, Communa Health Services Behavioral Health Centers can help. Our psychiatric mental health providers can evaluate to see if treatment is needed to get your child back on track. To schedule an appointment in Monroe, call 322-7999. In Bastrop, call 283-8887. 
We are Angie and Lou Lyles. Welcome to Floor Works. The largest showroom, biggest selection, and friendliest staff in Northeast Louisiana. We install custom showers, countertops, backsplashes, and waterproof flooring. Offering free estimates, competitive pricing, 12 months no interest financing, and we understand that your budget is important too. We are family owned and operated and want to make your house the home of your dreams. Floorworks, Cypress Street, West Monroe. Christina Jensen, weeknights on NBC 10 News. Tonight on News Nation, tomorrow is the first day of the impeachment trial against Donald Trump, what the proceedings will look like, and what will the outcome mean for the former president. And tonight's big game ends a season unlike any other for the NFL. We'll have expert analysis on this historic football season. That's tonight on News Nation, starting at 8, 7 central on WGN America. 10 News at 5 continues. One child in El Dorado may be learning virtually, but it's not stopping him from challenging himself at home. 12-year-old Thatcher Nolan is used to doing innovating STEM projects in the classroom. Of all the things he learned at Washington Middle School, he decided to use those skills to build his own computer. He picked up $700 from doing chores at home, then bought the parts to make his own computer. And tickets are going fast to buy your chance at the St. Jude $350,000 Dream Home Giveaway built by Braco Construction. Every $100 ticket helps St. Jude Kids' mission of finding cures and saving children. You are looking at video of the Dream Home being built right now in Monroe. The tickets are just $100 each. There are two ways to get your St. Jude Dream Home tickets. You can call 1-800-726-9874 or go online and buy them at dreamhome.org. When you buy a ticket right now, you will also be entered to win a prize, that is a chance to win an Xmark zero turn lawnmower, an echo trimmer, blower, pressure, washer, edger, and hedge trimmer, all courtesy of 3B Outdoor Equipment. Weather is coming up next. Your oldest Brian Briggs is here and he'll have your full forecast when NBC 10 News at 5 continues. NBC 10, celebrating 65 years of keeping you informed. Students, take the first steps towards a rewarding career. Join ULM's virtual spring career fair Wednesday, February 24th from 9 to 3. Register now at ulm.joinhandshake.com and start on the path towards a rewarding career. Hi, I'm Brandon Moore with Air Service Professionals, your local expert for heating and cooling. Day or night, 365 days a year, give us a call and we're on the way. For more information, check us out on myacklermiss.com. Little India Restaurant and Bar is the place to enjoy authentic Indian cuisine in Monroe. Come in and enjoy our affordable lunch buffet with a variety of delicious options to choose from. In the evening, experience our relaxing atmosphere or book our private lounge as you order off our menu with carefully crafted vegetarian, South Indian, North Indian, or Indo-Chinese dishes, plus much more. We also have authentic Indian beer or other delicious beverages. Little India Restaurant and Bar, bigger and better flavors, food, and fun. When I first bought the business, my father, who had been a banker for well over 40 years, told me, he said, son, you're going to need a local bank that understands and cares about the needs of your restaurant. People that know you, know the needs of your business is crucially important, and we found that at Homeland Bank. And that's what I needed. It's banking the way that it's supposed to be. My money is with Homeland Bank. Where's your money? Could your yard use a makeover? Let Sammy's Plant World help you create your dream yard. Now's the time to get started and transform your yard from this to this. Sammy's Plant World. Call today and we'll do the rest. History in the making. The beginning of a new era in America. As Joe Biden takes office, the major changes and challenges ahead. The vaccine effort picks up. Where are the majority of those doses? NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Cottonport Antique Mall, an antique store for everyone. Poplar Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Oram Young. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good, happy uh, Super Bowl Sunday to you. Hopefully you've been able to have a wonderful day today. Not the best day outside for really any some of those outdoor activities. However, uh, we are starting to see some of those clouds clearing as of this evening, especially off towards the south. And this is what it looks like on our tower cam. This is pointed towards the south and you can see less clouds. And uh, some folks just now, even at the end of the day, starting to see some of those breaks. And that's what uh, did not allow us to warm up all too much. We're currently sitting at 46 degrees here in Monroe. So uh, we were expected to get into the lower 50s 
50s today, but because the clouds did not clear out, well, we didn't really warm up all too much. But at least the good news is we didn't deal with any showers or storms today. Our live storm tracker Doppler radar is quiet and uh, we'll stay quiet here at least for the next 24 hours, maybe even 48 as um, we will start to get into a very, very unsettled pattern as we head into this upcoming week. But generally, though, uh, we're going to be quiet as we head into our Monday. And uh, actually, tomorrow's going to be a very pleasant day with highs getting into the uh, lower 60s. And then uh, as we head into our Tuesday, though, that's when things change. We'll continue to see those warm temperatures filtering into our area for Tuesday and even Wednesday. But those clouds will be on the increase as we go through our Tuesday and uh, may have enough moisture to ring out a few showers during our Tuesday. Now, the better chances for rain come in for Wednesday, at least initially, as uh, the first of a few disturbances moves through our area here. And as you can see, the dip in the jet stream here, little bits of energy kind of filtering in our area for Wednesday and Thursday. So that'll be our first round. Then you see another disturbance moving in for our Saturday here. That'll bring another possibility for some precip. And uh, that one's a little bit more questionable as uh, we're going to need some ingredients to line up. But then even behind that could be dealing with another disturbance as we head into the following week. So at least the upper level pattern is going to be uh, somewhat unsettled. Now the real question is, how cold is it going to get? So it still looks like the potential for pretty serious cold is going to be moving in. This is a one model. Keep in mind, one model, not an absolute forecast. But this one is the one that's been trending colder here the last few days. And uh, this is Friday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You're seeing temperatures in the 20s. So I think it's a little extreme at least at this point, but uh, yeah, it wanting to, uh, you know, put single digit lows for Sunday morning. So there are hints that cold is still on the way. The other models are not as cold as this one, but uh, still trending that cold will eventually get here by Thursday and then uh, continue through our weekend. So Still a lot of questions on how exactly cold it's going to get, but in the meantime, though, it's uh, looking like it's going to be coming in here. Lower 40s currently right now into southern Arkansas, middle 40s along the I-20 corridor and lower 50s. So uh, generally, though, it's uh, going to be nice as we head into the next couple days. Enjoy it. And again, uh, it all depends on how much cold air we get after Thursday. That's still where the main questions lie with this forecast, but uh, could be seeing a wintry mix on Saturday. More details coming up a little bit later on as we get them. That's going to be it for weather sports after the break. You're watching NBC 10 News at 5. The NBC 10 mobile news app for Apple and Android brought to you by Vantage Health Plan. Visit Murphy Petard Jewelers this Valentine's Day for our Sparkle and Save event February 5th through the 13th and receive a free rose bouquet with any purchase of $2.99 or more. Show your love this Valentine's Day with our Sparkle and Save event now through February 13th. We are Northeast Delta Human Services Authority. And we understand merging services for mental health, addictive disorders, and developmental disabilities. We are dedicated to bringing crucial services to northeastern Louisiana with compassion and a genuine kindness that is often absent in the lives of those we serve. The goal is to help educate and foster hope through competency and care. We understand. Rise up, Louisiana, like a phoenix from the ashes with a little encouragement from those who understand. The Denture Center is here, and we love what we do. Focusing on dentures, partials, repairs, relines, and dental extractions with IV sedation. Our in-house lab makes for a fast turnaround time. Dr. Patel has over 17 years of experience to help improve the confidence in your smile. We participate in the Medicaid Adult Denture Program, Vantage, Delta Dental, MetLife, Humana, and Emeritas. You won't find a better price. Start living life again. The Denture Center, Louisville Avenue in Monroe. Call it today. It was a Sunday and we were driving home from church when a truck ran a red light and hit us. I had never been in an accident like this before. It was horrible. We went to the hospital and that's when I called Morris Bart. I made that one call on a Sunday and Morris Bart got me $168,000. Injured in a car wreck on the weekend? Don't wait until Monday. I have attorneys standing by ready to help you now. Call 807-1000 or go to morrisbart.com. One call, that's all. Visit Murphy Petard Jewelers this Valentine's Day for our Sparkle and Save event February 5th through the 13th and receive a free rose bouquet with any purchase of $2.99 or more. Show your love this Valentine's Day with our Sparkle and Save event now through February 13th. Sports with C.J. Macklin. The biggest game of the year is getting ready to kick off here in just a few minutes on all the TVs in here. 
the Saints not playing this one, though. The Chiefs versus the Bucks. Tom Brady versus Patrick Mahomes, but it's a bigger flip of the coin this time. The LSU players on both sides for the Chiefs and for the Bucks. Tyrone Matthew, Darrell Williams, just to name a few. And Louisiana Tech's very own. Jerry Sneed playing in his first Super Bowl in his first year. But before the big game kicks off, one NFL player also became a referee for the NFL as well. And also played in between the lines and also refed outside the lines, on the sideline. But in this one, we'll go straight to the package. The Super Bowl. It has become more than just a championship game. It's become an annual piece of history, a moment in time for fans, and it's a dream come true for those who spend a career trying to live in that moment. I was in the National Football League for 34 years, 23 on the field, 18 as a referee and crew chief. My last 11 is a replay official. I was in the 1997 draft. I was the sixth overall pick to the St. Louis Rams. Standout NFL defensive lineman Grant Wistrom and Hall of Fame referee Larry Nimmers both had very different roles on the football field, but they each had the same goal, getting to a Super Bowl, something they each accomplished three times. Played our first Super Bowl there, uh, Super Bowl 34 against Tennessee Titans. After that, two years later, we played uh, I was still with the Rams. Um, we played the Patriots. Tom Brady got his first of uh, too many Super Bowl wins. And in my second year out in Seattle, we played another Super Bowl, played the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, that's the epitome of, of, of what we aim to do. And, uh, and I've been involved in three of them, Super Bowl 25, 35, and, and 46. The goal is to work one. Once you get that one, you know, the pressure's off the table. Of course, there are things from the game itself that stick with them. Super Bowl 25, you know, the silver anniversary. Buffaloes, their first Super Bowl. And the Giants, little Scott in Norwood missed a 44-yard field goal with three seconds left. Mike Jones, Missouri favorite, uh, made the tackle on the one-yard line to win the game. But it's those pieces of history and those moments in time that the Super Bowl is responsible for creating. Those last forever. Listening to Whitney Houston sing the Star Spangled Banner at Super Bowl 25, and I'm standing on the sideline next to Marv Levy, the Buffalo coach, and I'm going out to the coin toss, and I'm crying like a baby after she's singing that, and I'm thinking, boy, I better get straightened out here. I don't think about like winning the Super Bowl. I think about the parade afterward when I go back to that time. It was just so much fun. Just being born and raised in Missouri and get to, to win a Super Bowl for a team in Missouri, that was amazing. Only 22,000 tickets handed out in this one. 7,500 of those went to health care workers. That's it for sports. We'll be back after the break. Weather on the NBC 10 News app. Brought to you by Ross Downs, attorney at law. 11 teens die every day as a result of texting while driving. Don't be a statistic. Sign the pledge at notextarclimist.com. Brought to you by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys. Little India Restaurant and Bar is the place to enjoy authentic Indian cuisine in Monroe. Come in and enjoy our affordable lunch buffet with a variety of delicious options to choose from. In the evening, experience our relaxing atmosphere or book our private lounge as you order off our menu with carefully crafted vegetarian, South Indian, North Indian, or Indo-Chinese dishes, plus much more. We also have authentic Indian beer or other delicious beverages. Little India Restaurant and Bar. Bigger and better flavors, food, and fun. Your news every hour in primetime is on News Nation on WGN America. News Nation reported on Wyoming miners learning new careers as coal jobs dwindle. Humans can adapt to change. As construction on the wall stops, we covered mixed reaction at the border. We should build more of it. They want to live a better life. News Nation covers your nation every night starting at 8, 7 central on WGN America. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find WGN America on your cable or satellite provider. I had dug myself into a financial hole. Bill Collective was calling me every day. Credit card, medical bills were piling up. My paycheck was about to be garnished, and they was looking for my car. I kept digging myself into a deeper hole. I decided to call Sam. Let Sam give you straight answers to serious bankruptcy questions. No pressure, no sales pitch, no gimmicks. Call Sam for a free consultation and see if he can help you climb out of that hole. You've been waiting all year, and it's finally here, crawfish season. 
And we're better to get your crawfish than with the Meat Masters at Randall's Fine Meats. And while you're there, grab a juicy, fresh-cut 1855 certified Black Angus steak, plus chicken halves, ribs, seafood, Randall's fried Cajun specialties, and much more. Don't forget about our casseroles or gumbo, or grab a hot meal from the deli. And Randall's also has your back if you need your event catered. Randall's Fine Meats, Pink's Hideaway in Monroe. You're watching KTVE NBC10, your official weather station of the Arklamis. NBC10 News is covering the stories that matter to you every day. We highlighted a need for court reporters in Arkansas's court system and explained what their job entails and why there's a shortage. And we told you the story of how former Auburn head coach Terry Bowden came to become the new head coach of ULM football and how his legendary father thinks his son can turn the program around. See these stories and more at MyArklamis.com and on the NBC10 News mobile app, available for iPhone and Android. Well, our Monday is expected to be warmer and nicer than today. A little bit more sunshine as well. For, and we see those warmer temperatures continuing to our Tuesday and Wednesday. It's before our rain chances, though, move back in. Looks like a system will bring us showers and storms later Wednesday and continuing to Thursday. Temperatures start to fall on Thursday. Now, the question is, any point after that, is how cold they're actually going to get. This is kind of the consensus, at least right now, generally in the 30s. And if we have enough cold air, maybe with a system on Saturday, could see some wintry precipitation. We'll continue to keep you updated on what could be some major cold coming in for the weekend. Yesterday, we wished a very happy birthday to 90-year-old Velma Brinson from Gina, but tonight, we want to share her birthday parade the community did for her. You can see all sorts of cars and fire trucks driving by. There she is. She's about to walk out of the house there. She sees a lot of them walking by, and they celebrated Velma over the weekend. Again, a very, very happy birthday to you, Miss Velma. And that is it for us here tonight at 5. We'll see you tonight at 10. Remember, you can always stay up to date with us online at MyArkleMiss.com. Tons of new stories there. Have a good Sunday night and a great week. We'll see you tonight at 10.